Hello everyone! I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Hey hey! <laughs> hello, hello! Today we have office hours. Office hours. So today we're going to be relaxing with each other. We're just going to take it easy. Yes, we're going to take it easy. And I hope everyone's having a good, good, good weekend. Um, so far I've been having a relaxing weekend. I think, uh... I hope the weekend's going nicely for everybody. <laughs> I uh I just woke up from <clears throat> I just woke up from sleeping a while ago, so my voice might be a little my voice might be a little rasp. <laughs> hello, hello everyone. So today we're gonna to be playing some Spy Fox, and I've never played Spy Fox before. Just like uh the Pajama Sam games, I've I never played the Pajama Sam games until before. Until before, uh, like, last week. Or last Sunday. <laughs> so, I'm looking forward to the Spy Fox games. I wonder what they're- I wonder what they're going to be like. I- I, I wonder about that. <laughs> and I was kind of thinking, maybe, uh, you can- you can help me pick one of these games. Let's see here. I was thinking maybe you can help me pick some of these games. Let's see here. I'm just going to... I'm just going to turn around a little bit over here. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the gaming library. Hmm. Let's take a look. Okay. So I have a few here. We have Spy Fox in Hold the Mustard. I don't know um, which one would be the best to start with because everyone told me everyone told me which uh, pajama Sam to start with when we did uh, last uh, Sunday. So we have Spy Fox hold the mustard. We have Spy Fox with dry cereal, dry cereal, <laughs> and then we also have Spy Fox in cheese chase. There's Cheese Chase as well. We have Spy Fox Operation Ozone. Operation Ozone. We have Spy Fox. Some assembly required. Hmm. So those are those are the Spy Fox games that I have. If anybody's open to suggestions, I don't mind at all. I just I'm not too sure which one we can start with. Hmm. So 
some assembly required. Operation Ozone. Cheese Chase. Dry Cereal. I'm kind of I'm kind of curious about that one, not gonna lie. So dry cereal is the first one then. And then we have hold the mustard, which looks like kind of like a newer one, I think. So some assembly required and dry cereal are the ones. Okay, okay. Well, maybe we can go with the dry cereal one then since it is the first one. Okay. We'll go we'll go with dry cereal then. <laughs> Dry, cere dry cereal doesn't sound too appealing, does does it? <laughs> okay. So what I'll do is, I remember some of these games are a little bit loud, so I'm just going to turn down my headphones just a little bit. You're going to hear the, the Microsoft sound in 3, 2, 1. There we go. Just going to turn that out. Down, and I am going to cut the BGM. No more BGM. No, no, no. Let's start with Firefox in dry cereal. Look how look how sly he looks. He's just like, "Hey. Hey girl, how's it going?" <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm, dry cereal. Okay, does everyone put the cereal first before you put the milk? Because I think that's like the normal way of doing it, right? I hear that there's some people that put the milk before their cereal, and I don't know what to think about that. Okay. Yeah, I think cereal first would be the better option. Oh my god, <laughs> his eyes! Oh, no Got more milk. Milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. That's. <laughs> That's freaking evil. Oh. Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Somewhere over sea. the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek play? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. Mmm, mmm. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's Here's hard the to only swallow. clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples <laughs> found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island Booty. of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. <laughs> He's got a dumpy. Aw, oh, yeah. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, let's go with number two. 
Oh my god. Is that, is that a whoopee cushion? Uh oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. That airline food will get you every time. That's certainly not the kind of entrance a super spy like myself normally makes. Oh my god. Hmm. So this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Oh, okay, okay. Where's my... Where's my mouse? Oh, there's my mouse. Okay, 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 okay. Who, who are you? Hey, wanna see my tattoo? Oh. <laughs> Your mother must be so proud. Wow. Why do you why well, you just gotta show off your tattoo like that guy? Okay. So trinkets. Uh okay, I guess that's Looks li like it's closed. Okay. So no nothing over there. Nothing over there. Mmm, let's go let's go down. Let's see what's over here. The door's locked. Okay. Happy hour six to eight. Okay, so not in the I morning. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well, I have to say that's the first time I've ever been grateful I ate the airplane meal. The door's locked. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we have to go onto the pier then. Hmm, okay. Hmm. There's like a bite taken out of this. What the heck? Somebody got a bit hungry. Hmm. Beta factory. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Normally, I would karate chop my way right through a door, but this one seems to be made of solid steel. Okay. Okay, interesting. Hmm. So what's the... It says Beta Factory. Um... Where to go then? Five, 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 six, seven, zero, five. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. Hmm. Five, five, five. It's a photograph of Mr. Utterly. I guess there's not a code to enter, though. Hmm. Oh. Oh my god, is it just right here? Oh! <laughs> oh my god, what was it? Uh... What was it? It was like 555-something. Five, five, five 555-6705. Five, 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 six, seven, zero, five. Five, 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 six, six, seven, seven, zero, five. Five, 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 six, seven, zero, five. Hello, Bicor Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. There we go. <laughs> Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the Spy Gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good. Because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. <laughs> Don't put that in your mouth. 
It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special <laughs> laser toothbrush. Oh, he would have been. Show you how it works. His teeth would have been lasered off. You hold off. the laser toothbrush. Apply the minty fresh laser gel. Push the button. Then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm. Wow. I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. Okay, so we got laser toothbrush. Um, okay. Anything else we can like? If I had the knack, I'd take a crack at giving this empty vending machine a whack and a smack. But I suppose Quack would give me some flack when he gets back to this shack. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so I guess from my understanding, the Pajama Sam and the Spy Fox games are a little bit more like on the like the older kid side, like the more mature side, I'd say. My spy watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the Mobile Command button. Will do. Spy Fox out. Oh my God, you could save the game for this one. Oh my God. Is this going to take us a while for this? Hmm. I guess we can try... Huh. Can I laser off the door? Wait. There was like the, the thing in there. That's not going to do me any good. No, 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 no. I want the laser. How do you access the laser? It's Happy Fun Sub. A little break from the spy biz might do me some good. Oh my, oh my goodness. It's like a mini game. Okay, no, 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 we don't want to do, no, 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 no. Wait, but how do you, I want that. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. What was that? Oh, I want that toothbrush. Huh, can actually save it. Interesting. Uh please stand by. Spy Fox, how's everything going? Perfectly. I was calling to see if Mr. Utterly has shown up yet. I can't seem to find him. He's still very much missing. If I were you, I'd focus on looking around that feta factory. Mobile Command Center. Okay, but how do I get that laser toothbrush to come out? I'm sure glad I haven't had to wear a silly disguise on this mission. Like the time I had to wear a fake mustache made of belly button lint. <laughs> Ugh. Ew, belly button lint. Ugh, kimochi warui. <laughs> Gross. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Oh, okay, so this, uh, his- Here's where I keep okay, my okay. spy gadget. His thingy extends, okay. His thingy extends, okay, okay. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. Brilliant, brilliant. Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's <laughs> Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Hmm. Hmm, this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting hotter. Can we can we burn the fish? Hmm. That makes the piranha pool colder. Mm. I'm I'm kind of curious myself. The beasties seem to be slowing down. 
Oh, they're slowing down. Maybe that lever will help me get Mr. Utterly's rump roast down from there. Maybe, maybe they can't, they can't num num when they get pulled. That's not going to work. Piranhas can skeletonize a cow in a matter of minutes. Wait, so does it have to be hot then? I thought it'd be, hmm. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. That should hold them. Now for mm -hmm. Mr. Utterly. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Um, it it wasn't going all the way to the bottom there for a moment. Mm -hmm. Bam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. You're okay, Mr. You Utterly. Saved me. Thank you, Mr. Um. Oh. Fox. Spy, Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my pants. <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox. All right. Just Mr. calm Fox. down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Oh, yep. yes. You have to Aww. stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. He's, he's very busy. He's a very busy man. their appearance, I immediately snapped into action. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoof and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body's a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. My whole Ta -da -da body's a weapon. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They Ew. took me away to Kid's Secret <laughs> Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, how's he, how's use he this milky plans? weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, Frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Aww. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Hi, Fox. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hello, duck person. Um, when they were talking about milk and stuff, I just started opening up like a baby bell. <laughs> uh, time for a little snack of cheese. Hmm. Mr. Utterly, why did you have to swallow the code in the first place? Couldn't you have... Put it in your pocket? Ooh, I hadn't thought of that. That would have been a lot easier in the end, huh? Hmm. Good morning, Spy Fox. I took the liberty of loading the vending machine with some of my ingenious new spy gadgets. You should take a look at some of them, Spy Fox. They may come in handy. Oh, hello. What's, what's this then? X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. What beef flavor? What? I'll explain how Ew. it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, 
move it around, oh. and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. I thought Best you would. part of all is, okay. when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. Uh, you know, uh, uh. four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. Oh, beefy gum. Gross. <laughs> Imagine just, a like, duck needs chewing on beef jerky. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Imagine chewing on, like, beef jerky flavor as gum. Ugh. Hey, according to SpyCore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Hmm. So... That's the x-ray gum. What if we look at his stomach then? So, if he swallowed the code, we could look at his stomach. Here's where I... That's not going to do me any no, good. No, 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 here. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. Oh. Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. Oh, okay. The disarm code. It's like right there. Uh, so there's a key? Okay, okay. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. Sloppy, sloppy Joes? Okay, okay. Sure, sure. His ticker looks like it needs winding. Like he would <laughs> eat the whole apple, like with the core. Mm. I found the note. All right, now I need to find out where that diode is. Then use it to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. Okay, I guess he already found it. Like I was already hovering over it. I guess he just had to like activate I've it. I've got to look for that diode. William the Kid must be stopped. What was that? Okay. Without that diode, I won't be able to disarm right the milky weapon of destruction. If I could find that diode, then I'd be making some progress. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. It it's looks right. like I need to find that diode. It's here. Okay. But now what? Hey, according hmm. to SpyCore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Jeez. <laughs> oh, things are open now. Interesting. Is that an entire jar of trinkets? Yes, my Aunt Elisa pickles them every September. Say, do you happen to have any white marble cycladic figurines? From either Siphanos or Syros, dating somewhere between 2800 to 2300 BC? I have no idea <laughs> what you are talking about, sir. Perhaps there is something else I could interview If only in. if I could find that diode to disarm, disarm the device. Hmm, I wonder where it could be as I hover over it. <laughs> Okay, so I wonder if this place is still. Oh, it's open now. Chicken Hi, honey. knuckles. To Welcome go. to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like for example, sugar, you just let me know. All right. Thanks, Bee. Okay, wait. If it's chicken knuckles to go, if it's chicken, are they cannibalizing each other? It's like the whole like BoJack Horseman thing. Like, what do they? Wait. Like, do they do they eat each other? Thursday's special. Secret sauce may cause drowsiness in alligators. Hmm. Beet bliss. It smells funny. Hmm. Greetings. Interested in a little game of go fish, Mr. Fox. Spy Fox. I've been known to play Go Fish from time to time. And you are? 
Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play for some trinkets? I'm afraid I don't have anything I would call a trinket. How unfortunate. Why don't you come back when you have some trinkets to play with? Hmm, it makes the game so much more interesting. Hmm, hmm, if you had some trinkets on you. Okay, 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 okay. So, you like playing the tango, do you? Oh, yeah. The tango really swings you crazy, cat. Plus, it's the only sheet music I have. Hmm. So, what does the traditional Greek food taste like? I don't know. It's all Greek to me. Wow. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll get out of here for now. Okay, now what's, what's up here? Oh, still locked, okay. That door is still locked. Oh, hello? Invitations only, okay. That's okay. quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh, yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here at this podium on this filthy, seagull-stained dock talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. Wannabe? No, it's not your boat. I'm a classy no. fox. It belongs to my boss. Wow, he called me a wannabe. Not nice. Okay, I don't think I have to be in here anymore, then. Ah, uh, yes. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. Any news? Nothing to report yet. This island sure has a lot of lively characters on it. Everyone's so animated. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, by the way, our informant, Mata Harry, suggested that you try to get on the ship. It might be important. Hmm, but I need an invitation then. I wonder if I can get an invitation if I play that game, so I need a trinket then. Tell me, what's the difference between a souvenir and a trinket? Souvenir is a French word meaning to remember. Trinket is a Middle English word which means small shoemaker's knife. I hope that clears it up for you, sir. It says trinkets. Could you tell me a little about those pennants? Yes, those were actual pennants weighed by Emperor Theodosius himself at the 393 AD Olympics. Interesting. Is that an entire jar of trinkets? Yes, my Aunt Elisa pickles them every September. What's nice about these hats is that if you tilt the top up, they give some little rectangular candies which taste a little like soap. I think you've gotten a fez mixed up with something that sounds quite similar. Wait a minute, is that a genuine Teddy Roosevelt teddy bear, circa 1902? Yes, they are very rare. It may even be on the endangered antiquities list. Hmm. How much is that cute stuffed kitty you have there? It is a little expensive, sir. But I would be happy to throw in some free stuffed kitty litter. What if I pay him? I'd love to take your money, sir, but wouldn't you like to buy something? Of course. Well, wait, do I put it, like, here? I'd like to purchase that fine stuffed kitty. All right, I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah! 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 <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Can't reach it? Ah! 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 Oh, forget it. I just remembered that you need a license to own a cat on this island. Even a stuffed toy cat. Okay, well, what, what 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 if I buy that hat? What if I buy this? How much for the fez? As it turns out, this fez isn't for sale, sir. This is our floor model. In fact, it's yeah, been on I guess it would have to be the jar. Times, and we have a dirty floor. Yeah, I guess it would have to be the jar after all. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're twenty drachmas. But for you, how about fifty? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. There you go, sir. <laughs> it's in his reach. Why, thank you. 
It's in his reach, so I guess that's fine. Okay, so I guess we should play the the game with the dude. Okay, we'll go we'll go here. And we'll we'll save our progress. I don't know if it actually does this, but there. Okay. Would you care to play with some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. <laughs> Excellent then. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play go fish for trinkets. Place oh my god, we're playing go we're table. playing goldfish. We'll <laughs> uh okay. There. Place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started. Oh, sorry, table, table. So, you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right. I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with this one. Okay, so what does this mean? Now I can talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I guess we actually have to, like, play play. Got any kings? <laughs> Go fish. Okay. Got any sixes? Oh, wait. Four. Go fish. Got any twos? Go fish, sir. Hmm. Got any ten? Got any jacks? Nope. Go fish. Got any eight? No, sir. Go fish. I wonder if I could actually like Got just any win. Five. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any nines? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any sevens? Got any queens? Got any aces? Go fish. Got any kings? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any jacks? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any twos? Go fish, sir. Really? Got any aces? Nice try, but you need to go fish. That's to, like, talk to him. Have you tried the food here, sir? It's the best on the island. I can assure you. I can't get enough of it. Hmm. Got any sixes? I'll just take those off your hands. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. <laughs> Got any twos? No, sir. Go fish. He still doesn't have twos, huh? I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any eights? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any nines? Oh, he was asking me for aces before. Got any queens? Nice try. No, no, but no. You no, need no. to go fish. Uh huh. You got, got aces? any aces? What give, a fun game me. this is. Um. I can't remember if he asked me about kings before. Got any threes? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Mm. Got any kings? Got any fours? Do I have to win? Ah, yes. Got any fives? Go fish. Got any eights? <laughs> Go fish. Oh. Mm, got any tens? Go fish. He asked me about queens before last time. Got any queens? Ha. Give I me, love give me your stack. Give me that stack. <laughs> okay. I wonder if he has any. Well, let's see if we can if we can do twos again. Got any twos? No. Oh. Sir. Go fish. Really? Okay. Got any sevens? Nope. Go fish. Hmm. 
Got those threes? Got any threes? <laughs> Go fish. Nope. Okay. Got any eights? Ah, oh, frick. Got any nines? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Hmm, you got fives? Got any fives? I'll just take those off your hand. Give me that stack. Okay, um... So he still doesn't have twos. Can I, can I talk to him yet? You may be very shrewd player, sir, but I hope you don't mind if I hog all the winnings. <laughs> <laughs> Um, ask him about aces, I guess. Oh no, threes maybe. Uh. Got any threes? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Interesting. Got any eights? Mm. Nope. Go fish. Okay, I wonder if he has. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, he has two stacks now. Okay, okay. Got any kings? I'll oh. just take those off your hand. Hmm. Give me that. Okay. You have any? Hmm. Did I ask him about aces last time? Oh, I want to get that. Mm. How about the twos? Got any twos? Go fish, sir. Darn. Okay. That's one well, set of cards taken okay. care of. I got. I got, got the fives. Seven. Go fish. I wonder if it's just gonna make me win though. Uh, you got those, uh, aces? Got any aces? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Oh, I this got... This suits okay. me just fine. Got any jacks? Oh, he's sweating. I sweat. thought you <gasps> said you were good at this game. He's sweating. Go fish. He's sweating. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, you got any, uh, you got any, uh... Mm, kings. Got any kings? Not a one, sir. Go mm. fish. Okay. Oh, okay. Eights. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Ew. I must apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. Mm hmm. Hmm. So he also has three stacks. Uh... Got any aces? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Hmm. How long Got is this gonna last? Seven. Nice try, but you need to go fish. He's asking me for eights and sevens, huh? What about threes? Got any threes? <laughs> go fish. Hmm. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. I love this game. Got those aces? Got any aces? No, sir. Go fish. This nice. suits me just fine. I need to wait for, like, my, uh... Got any okay. kings? <gasps> I think I win. That's one set of cards taken care of. I win! Yeah, I win. <laughs> nice. Ow. Oh. That's right. You never lose. There's a first time for everything, Mr. Big Pig. I've played almost everyone on the island, sir. And I never met anyone who plays quite like you. So, I got something from him. Hmm. Let's play again. No, I, I want to see if I can get the upper ham on you this time. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> play again. Very amusing, Mr. Fox. I wonder if he's supposed to give you something. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Uh, I don't know if this is just a mini game or not, or if I was actually supposed to get something. No, frick. Oh, frick. I hate to leave such a challenging opponent, but I have some bigger fish to catch right now. Do you mind if I leave my jar of trinkets here? Go right ahead, sir. Come back any time. Oh, he looks so happy, even though he just lost. Um. Quit. I quit. Quit. So you need to come back after specific intel. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Hmm, call Penny. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right Please now. Please stand by. Mm. Spy Fox, I thought I told you to get onto that ship. I'll get there. An experienced spy has to time these things just right. Uh, well, you're going to run out of time if Kid launches that milky weapon of destruction. The thing is, like, how am I gonna get onto that... How am I gonna get on there? Uh... 
I, I need an invitation. Is the party up there formal or casual? Sir, may I make a formal request that you stop asking me to make such casual remarks? Uh, well, Pardon me, sir, mm. but just where do you think you're going? On board? Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. Mm. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. I can gather information about the deck party with this. Hmm. I need an invitation. Where do I go? Where do I get that invitation? I I want it. This is mo Please stand by. Spy Fox, I thought I told you to get onto that ship. I'll get there. An experienced spy has to time these things just right. Uh, well, you're going to run out of time if Kid launches that milky weapon of destruction. Fun. <laughs> Fun. Probably the vending machine then? Okay. Hey. What's, What's this? in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the spy putty. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that mm. looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. <laughs> Okay. Those we could stole hmm. my idea. We could copy an invitation. What's this? Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works, because it's very scientific and complicated. Trust me when I say it works like a char. And it tastes great in soup. <laughs> yeah, and this paper isn't half bad. Hmm. What's this? Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. <laughs> Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemy. Nice, huh? Heads I hmm. win, tails they lose. <laughs> I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. Huh. How many can I keep in my inventory? Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Hmm. Mm. If I can make a copy of anything, I think I'll take this. That's the spy putty. Because maybe I can make a copy of that invitation if I can find one somewhere. It appears to be a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most ingenious inventions. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. <laughs> How illuminating. Hmm. <laughs> yes, and it has excellent arch support. <laughs> what handsome cufflinks. Are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflinks. I am very proud of them. 
They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spa. Mmm, <laughs> that was a tasty one. I think we do have to go back to the pig, yeah, because now that we have, like, the intel to, like, talk to him. Yeah, okay, I think we do. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a fun time. Okay, let's see if we can Would try to. to mm. Some trinkets. Place your trinkets on the table, and we'll get started. Hmm. We can ask him when he's sweating. I think that's when the appropriate time would be. You may be very shrewd player, sir, but I hope you don't mind if I hog all the winnings. Ha 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 ha! All right, Mister Big Pig. Let's see who takes home the bacon this time. Hmm, you're quite a challenging player, sir. Yeah, I'll ask him when he's sweating, because I think that's probably when he's going to be like, oh my goodness, uh. Okay, let's see. Got any queens? Go fish, sir. Hmm. It's kind of funny, because I haven't played go, go fish, like, since I was really young. So, this is, <laughs> this is interesting. Got any eights? Hmm. Got any fives. Nice try, ah, but no. you need to go fish. Hmm, how about threes? Got any threes? <laughs> go fish. Shoot, okay. Hmm, got any tens? Nope, go fish. Hmm. Got any twos? Hmm, thank you. How about aces? Got any aces? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Hmm, okay. Got any fours? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Hmm. How about sevens? Got any sevens? Oh my god, that'd be funny. We can use like that to cheat. <laughs> Oh my god, wait. Oh no, I can't I can't open it. That'd be pretty funny though. <laughs> mm, how about queens? Got any queens? No, sir. Go fish. Mm, okay, okay. Got any aces? Mm, he was asking me about fives last time. Got any kings? Go fish. Uh-uh. Okay. Got any fives? Thank you. How about Sixes. Got any sixes? Go fish, Mr. Mm. Fox. Got any jacks? I almost Go got fish. a I almost got a fat stack. Hmm, <laughs> how about those sevens? Got any sevens? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Mm. Got okay. any fives. Ah, oh, frick. When got did you get threes? fives again? Oh frick! frick. And that makes a set sound. Hmm. Mm. Got any ten? Nice try. No. But you need to go fish. Ah. Uh, you got those sevens, buddy? Got any sevens? Go fish, sir. Hmm. Got, got any my... eights? Go fish. Hmm. But, um. What twos? Got any twos? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Mm. Got any fives? Nope. Go mm. fish. He's still asking me for fives then. Got any nines? <laughs> Go fish. Mm. Oh, Got any kings. Jacks. Nice try, but you need to go fish. <laughs> it's just going Got back any and forth now. Kings? Yeah, give me your kings. Um, how about Sixes. Got any sixes? No, sir. Go fish. Ah, uh, okay. Got any queens? Ah, oh, he still had. Oh, he must have just got one. Good, <laughs> I'm good. Mm. Got any fours? Go fish. <laughs> I hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. Oh my god! What the frick? Hmm. Got any twos? Go fish, sir. Got 
got any eights. Go fish. Mm, I don't think I'm going to win this one, everyone. Got any sevens? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any twos? Why did... Uh, I just I'm asked you for twos done. a while ago. Got any uh, fours? I... Uh, <laughs> Aces. Go fish. <laughs> no, I keep asking him for the things, and then he asks me no. <laughs> Got nines? Got any nines? No, sir. Go fish. <laughs> I've always been lucky when it comes to go uh, fish. This is painful. Sevens. Got any sevens? <laughs> Go fish. <laughs> Got any oh. kings? But did, I, did, I just asked you for a king a while ago. Ah, you yes. didn't have one. Another one for me, sir. Oh. Got any jacks? Oh, I was going to ask him that next because I remember he eights? had... Nope. Oh. Go fish. You already win. Like, I don't think I can... I, don't, I can't catch up. I... Uh. Please, just let me get a let's just let me get a stack, please. Got any sevens? Not a one, sir. Go fish. It's like he gets the card like. <sighs> Got any nines? What? <sighs> Got any fours? Nice no. guy, but you need to go fish. Give me your jack. Give me. Give me. Got give any hmm. jacks? I'll just take those off your hands. <sighs> Got any sixes, bruh? Got any sixes? <laughs> Go fish. Ugh. Got okay. any aces? Nice try. Okay, you have fours. You need to go fish. You have fours. Give me your frickin' uh, how delightful. fours. I must apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. <laughs> Got any <sighs> nines? Nope. No. Go fish. Okay. Uh, how delightful. That gives me a suit, sir. Oh my... <laughs> Can I just concede, please? Got any fours? I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. <sighs> he must have like a seven now, right? What if I just ask him? Now I can talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like I'm supposed to ask him when he's sweating, but I'll give it a go. What do you know about that weasel of a doorman over there at the SS Deadweight? <laughs> Don't go chasing the waterfalls, little fox. That's Spy Fox. Trot your nosy little self over to the souvenir stand. That rabbit is friendly with the weasel you speak of. But remember, the walls have ears here on the island of Acidophilus. I respect your advice. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Let's try sevens again. Got any sevens? Go fish, sir. Got any eights? Nice try. Mm, but give you me your nines. Go fish. Give me, give me, give me the nines. Got any nines? I love this game. Go with the jacks now. Got any jacks? Okay. That's one set of cards. Okay, so that's of. like three. S okay, he has like five, I think. Got any sixes? No, sir. Go fish. Mm, okay, okay. Got any eights? Ah. Oh. Got any eights? Go fish. Why would you ask twice? <laughs> mm. Seven, six, seven, six. Uh, let's go with seven this time. Got any sevens? Not a one, sir. Go really? Fish. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. This suits me just fine. Mm. Got any sixes? Hey. A card. Thank you so much. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. I win. Mm. Another trinket on the table will get you another game, sir. I don't want to keep Let's playing go play fish. Again. I, I think I'm getting the hang of this now. My pleasure, Mr. Fox. Uh, I don't want to play anymore. I'm sure it'll be another <laughs> I don't want to play Go Fish. I want I want to play the rest of the game. Oh, I don't want to play any more Go Fish. 
I got bad RNG, everybody. I, I won the first game, but I got... Oh. Got any nine? Oh, bad RNG. Mm. Got any aces? Go fish, Mr. Box. Mm. Got any threes? <laughs> got any sixes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. How about... Got any jacks? Ah, uh, give me. I love this game. Nice, okay. Go with five. Got any fives? Go fish, sir. Got any aces? Mm. Got any sevens? Go fish. He did actually say to talk to the bunny, that's true. Got any sixes? A card. Thank you so much. Got any twos? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any queens? Nope. Go fish. Got any nines? Go fish, Mr. Fox. That's one set of cards taken care of. Give me better RNG. Oh, see, like, maybe, okay, maybe he might say something different if, we're, if he's sweating, though. That's... Like, that's what I'm wondering. Tell me about the weasel over at the SS Deadweight. You tread on dangerous ground, little fox. That's Spy Fox. I recommend steering clear of those Nectar of the Goats gatherings. The guest list is exclusive for a good reason. Hmm, I suspect that my arch nemesis, William the Kid, must be involved. Okay, so he just says the same thing then. Um... Got any fives? <laughs> Go fish. Got any twos? <laughs> mm, got any ten? Go fish. Ah, how delightful. Got any seven? Go fish. Got any sixes? No, sir. Go fish. Got any eights? Got any threes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any fives? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Hmm. Got any tens? Mm. <laughs> I hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. Got any eights? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Do, 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 do. Got any queens? What a fun game this is. Hmm. Got any fives? A card. Thank you so much. Got any sixes? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Do I, I don't think I have to finish the game then. Seven. Nope. Go fish. Got any aces? Uh -huh. I'll just take those off your hands. Yeah, give me, give me those. Got any queens? Go fish, sir. Got any sixes? Mm, he must have just got that recently. Got any twos? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Mm, so I just got aces from him. I'll... Got any aces? <laughs> go fish. Got any queens? Got any sixes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Did he ask for fours before, I think? Got any fours? No, sir. Go fish. Mm. Got any sevens? I'll just take those off your hands. Mm. Got any fives? Go fish, sir. Got any mm. twos? Go fish. Okay, I'm getting my queens back. Ah, how delightful. That gives me a suit, sir. Got any queens? I'll just take those off your hands. This suits me just fine. <laughs> Got any aces? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any threes? I thought you said you were good at this game. Go fish. 
try sevens again. Or no, let's do uh, fours. Got any fours? <laughs> go fish. No, I guess not. Huh? I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any kings? Go fish. Got any sevens? Mm, A thank card. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. This suits me just fine. Got any four? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Mm. Got any eights? Oh, I just got one. Got any kings? Nice try, but you need to go fish. <sighs> just want to win again. <laughs> got any fives? No, sir. Go fish. Mm. Okay. He doesn't have any fives then, so it's still there then. Got any fours? Hmm, A thank card. You. Thank you so much. I love this game. Got any fives? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any threes? Mm, nice try. Let me take those eights but you back. need to go fish. Got any eights? I'll just take those off your hands. That's one set of cards taken care of. Got any fives? <laughs> go fish. I've always been nice. lucky when it comes to go fish. I love this game. Sorry, I win again. <sighs> RNG, I have reclaimed my honor now. Okay. We can go talk to the bunny guy then. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, sorry about that. I, I get, where my notes I get mad when I lose. <laughs> I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes, 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 please. I would love to look at it. Do you think it would be okay if I borrowed your invitation? Of course not. This was sent to me <laughs> and me alone. Of course not. Mm. Can I take a copy of it? I can't copy the invitation while he's looking right at me. So maybe I can do something to distract him. Oh. What can I do to distract him then? Uh, what other spy gear was there to distract somebody? I imagine that you get pretty busy during the tourist season. Actually, no. Hmm. I guess I can take the other spy stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, the cat. Oh my god, I never thought of, I never thought about that. Frick, frick, frick. Okay. I never thought- oh, yeah, 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 you- oh, you got it, you got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 um... Could I look at that impressive invitation again? All right, but try not to make this a habit. Okay. Another advantage to this fine kitty is that it would save you a bundle on cat food. Sure, because it's always stuffed. One stuffed cat, please. Better make it to go. Would you like fries with that? No, thanks. Ah, I can't just take the little fellow's into ah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, forget it. I can't sell you that cat. It's still alive. Meow. Did you hear that? Meow. There it was again. <laughs> okay, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, bye, 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 bye. There. Okay. So what else can we do that's gonna be on here? So, where does a fox get one of these swank invitations? Anybody who is somebody on the island of Acidopolis was already invited. If you weren't invited, sir, then I'm afraid you must be a nobody. Not nice. I am somebody. This is a private Hello? party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! The nerve of some You think they would? Yay! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. 
Wow. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank oh, you. How I gracious of you. I get to come and go as I what wish. What a weasel. I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. <laughs> but of course. So, this mm. is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy oh. Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. Okay. Mm. Hello? Hello. You must be... Russian Blue. Noted socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadweight. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Would you care to dance, Miss Blue? I would love to, Mr. Fox. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance to. She is cute. And that is the tango. I love the tango. Oh. Do you know why I love the tango, Mr. Fox? That funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. Ooh. Interesting. Swap. I've never done the math on that. I can gather information about Russian Blue with this. Oh my god, do I have to freaking play Goldfish again? Oh. <laughs> do I have... Mm. Oh wait, no, 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 we could just go... No, 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 we could just go to the Tango guy. I think, I think, I think, okay. <laughs> I, th I think I'm traumatized by, by playing go Goldfish now. I'm just like, no, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Okay, we can go to this guy now, I think. The tango. Excuse me, what do you know about Russian blue? I got the music in me. Ow, ow. I got the music in me. Huh? What? Russian blue. Do you know her? That cat tangles you. like there's no tomorrow. I need to talk to Monkey Penny about tracking Russian blue's movements. Wait, what? For movements? Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. Have you found William the Kid's secret fortress yet? Not yet. Have you been able to find any more clues on the Spy Corps computer? Not yet. Let's keep snooping around. I'm sure we'll find something. Mm. Hey. Here, I'm just gonna save it again. For movements? Wait, say that again? Can you offer any more information on Russian Blue? Talk about a tangy tango. Woo! Okay, thanks. I appreciate your help. I need to talk to Monkey Penny about tracking Russian Blue's movements. Grab the sheet from the bandstand when he's not looking. Oh, please stop. Perhaps I could trade you something for your tango music. Sure, crazy fox guy. But it'd better be some other sheet music because I'm in the middle of a gig here and the show must go on. What other sheet music is there then? Hmm. It says, entertainment, the tango. Honey, after 60 straight days of tangos, it's no longer entertainment. Off oh, cedar, on the boat. Oh, junior. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> that makes sense, that makes sense. Teamwork. Spy, spy teamwork. Waltz. Oh, we gotta switch it. Okay, so he's looking at it. Okay. I've never been involved in a waltz napping before. Okay, so we got that. Interesting. You actually gotta take from, you gotta take things from people when they're not looking. Okay. I. Are we more so a thief than a spy, though?
we, we, we stealing things or we're swap swapping things. Hmm. Hey, what would you think about playing something a little slower for a change? Like I told you, man, I would if I could. So, unless you've got some new sheet music for me, the tango extravaganza continues. Would you trade me some of your tango music for some of this waltz music? Would I? I've been dying for some new tunes. New tunes. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you, Mr. Too Cool for a Foxy White Suit Jacket Guy. You are beautiful, baby. Don't go changing. Nah. Give this gentle fox a Brussels sprout soda and put it on my tab of Rooney, sweet. You don't have a tab, Johnny. Too bad. He called me beautiful. I'm blushing. Aw. Okay, so we got that tank, that sweet tango. Okay, so we're gonna put it on the guy's thing, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna dance, dance, dance with Russian blue. Excuse me, but you're in my way here. Excuse me, I thought I left something here. Hmm. Okay, we gotta wait for him to... Right there. Do it, do it, do it. Fast. Do it fast. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Just looking. Oh my god, do it when... Oh, okay, wait. Maybe he has to... There we go. Ah, okay, smooth, very smooth. Hmm, I guess you can teach old dogs new tricks. There we go, there we go. <gasps> She's in. She's in the mood to tango. Spin, spin, spin. That cat certainly knows how to tango, but I've got a few moves she hasn't seen yet. Would you like to dance again? Not to that music. Wait, what? Well, what was the point of that then? That would get him to change his tune. Oh, do you have to like grab her like purse maybe? Wait. I'm I'm, I'm clicking it, but That was fun, although I have to admit something's bugging me about my technique. Maybe I should try it again. Technique? Technique? Do we have to use a gadget or something? Wait. Plant something in oh okay, okay, we'll plant something in her person. Okay. Mm, let's see. Shoe is for seeing in the dark. What was this one again? It was like cheese. Oh it's oh what's this? No ordinary coin. What was this again? Oh was this the tracking device? No, that's the spy trap. 
you toss it on the ground, and it will trap three or more bad guys. No, if you that want was to a capture trap one. some creeps, the spy trap is a mm. coin that makes a lot of sense. Mm, so it wasn't that one. Getting paper cuts on your tongue is the worst. Mm. Oh. This was the grabby one. Now, what is this spy gadget used for again? Is it just a snack? Oh no! That is the cheese and safe cracker kit. It will help you crack any safe in the world. When it comes to opening safes, cheese and crackers make a winning combination. Mm. They sure taste better than these blueprints. Mm. Hey, according to Spycore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Okay, wait a minute. I'm not too sure. Could you remind me what these things are again, Professor? Yes, those are the suction cufflinks. They let you climb across smooth metal surfaces. With these cufflinks, you will make a fashion statement that will take you straight to the top. Hmm. <laughs> I really need to get better tasting ink. Hmm. I'm a little stumped right now. I, d I don't mind if, um... I don't mind if anyone says anything. Hmm. That's to go there. So she puts her purse down, but I was trying to grab it when dancing with her. Do we have in our inventory now? Um. Here's where I keep my spy get. Here's where my notes go. I use the talk balloons to gather information. Uh, do we have to talk to the guy again? You know what? I'll just peace out on like the Go Fish game because just to get the information from him, I guess. Unless. Unless. Here's where my notes. What do you know about Russian Blue? I know that her greatest passion in life is the tango. It virtually puts her into a trance. That's why I'm taking tango lessons. I see. Okay. Can I talk to this this guy that showed me his tattoo? <laughs> I don't know anything about that, but do you want to see my tattoo? No! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. No, I don't want to see your tattoo anymore. Mm. So B, I imagine you've heard of Russian Blue. Heard of her? <laughs> Russian Blue's a living legend on the island of Acidophilus. Spill some beans for me then. Not that I'd accuse her of any shenanigans, but she runs with a dangerous crowd. I need to talk to Monkey Penny about tracking Russian Blue's movements. Here's where my notes go. I use the talk balloons to gather information. The coin didn't really seem like a tracking it's device, Rockland. though. It, it was Greek like, money. um, it was to capture people in a net. Um, but I, y you know what? We can, we can try. I was thinking, I was thinking about that coin, but I wasn't too sure. You know what? I'll, I'll, That's I'll one take of those it. Spy trapped. Um. <laughs> What's 
let's let's try it again. It's amazing what a difference a little sheet music can make. Oh my god, really? That cat certainly knows how to tango, but I've got a few moves she hasn't seen yet. So we gotta talk to Penny. Thank you for, che thank you for checking a guide. Please stand by. Spy find. Any luck finding kids' secret fortress? No, I'm beginning to think that kids trying to keep it hidden from the public. Yeah, well, maybe that's why it's called kids' secret fortress. Keep following those leads. They're bound to lead somewhere. Mm. Mobile Command Center. Hmm. In the base. Go to the base and talk to... Oh. Okay, okay. But she talked about just, uh, kids, uh, what was it? He has, like, three overdue library books. That's, like, the thing, the thing she keeps saying. Hey, according to SpyCore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Yeah, it's the same thing that she said last time. Um, I remember she was saying that there needs to be some kind of, uh, oh, talk, oh, shh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's talk to her about, uh, let me see. Monkey Penny, what can you tell me about this Russian blue I met over on the SS Deadweight? I'm glad you asked. Direct your attention to the screen. Here's ah. what the SpyCore database has on her. Name, Russian Blue. She also goes by Ms. Blue, Old Blue, and Kitty Kitty Kitty. Occupation, <laughs> Kitty Kitty Kitty. Owner and operator of the SS Deadweight. Head of public relations for NOG. Close associate of William the Kid. And one, Bad Kitty. Known felonies, indecent tangoing. Acquitted. Dancing <laughs> with intent to tango. <laughs> Acquitted. J tangoing. Acquitted. Tangoing out of season. Acquitted. Comments. Russian Blue is obviously in cahoots with William the Kid. She's not only very dangerous, but she might be the perfect source of information regarding Kid's whereabouts. Interesting. It sounds like I should keep an eye on her. Better still, why don't you slip one of our tracking bugs into her purse? Then we can trace her movements all over the island. Walter Wireless is ready to go. Hey, Walter. There we go. You need Russian blue followed? I'm your bug. I'm on her like fleas on a dog. Or a cat, as it were. Excellent. Glad to have you aboard, Walt. Hop in. There we go. Okay. Oh, he's there. He's there. Okay, okay. I have a feeling. Okay, let's da let's dance with her again now. Yay, activating cutscenes. <laughs> I wonder if I have to get, like, the timing right for it, too. I thought that would get him to change his tune. Okay, so let's see if I have to open up, like, the inventory for this. Because he's gonna, like, reach over. No? Wait. Now I see why she likes to tango so much. Hmm. I need to distract Russian Blue so she'll set her purse down first. Yes, I, I did do that. Like, did it not click in time? One more time.
There we go. It had to be like right before. There we go. Yeah. Okay, good. The bug I love is in. To tango, but now I must attend to some important business. Thank you for the divine tango, Miss Blue. There we go. She's all tangoed out now. Okay. Then we get to see where she goes. Please stand by. Spy Fox, any luck finding Kid's secret fortress? No, I'm beginning to think that Kid's trying to keep it hidden from the public. Yeah, well, maybe that's why it's called Kid's secret fortress. Keep following those leads. They're bound to lead somewhere. Hmm, okay. Let's save the game. Okay. I wonder where she went. What if she went into like that office? Oh, oh, we got a call now. Answer my spy watch. It could be about my dry cleaning. Please stand <laughs> by. Hello, Monkey Penny. What's up? Spy Fox, one of our informants, Mata Harry, has turned up some vital information you may need to complete your mission. Rendezvous with her in front of the Nectar of the Goats factory door. Mm, okay. We interrupt this program to bring you a special spy report. Let's go to a close-up for this one, Steve. This is Walter Wireless, your undercover tracking bug, coming to you live inside the purse of Russian Blue. Just moments ago, Russian Blue ran off her boat, jumped in her sports car, and sped out of the parking lot. Do you have any idea where she's headed? We are presently speeding down what feels like a winding paved road towards an unknown location. We have just taken a sharp left, now a right. She is driving like a wildcat. Oh. I'll bring you more on this breaking story as it... Wait a minute. The car seems to be slowing down. Yes, it's come to a complete stop. I can't tell what's happening yet. Hang on. Oh, no. My cover has been compromised. <gasps> Mayday. Mayday. For Spycore News, this is Walter Wireless signing off. Did you see that, Monkey Penny? I sure did. You better see if you can pick up his trail. Professor Quack finished his repairs on your car. I'll have it waiting for you in the town square, just behind the mobile command center. You better hurry, Spy Fox. Walt was one of our best field bugs. And don't forget about meeting up with the informant, Mata Harry, by the Feta factory. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. Oh no, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Oh no! Monkey Penny said to meet Mata Harry here. I wonder where she's hiding. <laughs> we'll never see him again. The banana gets peeled at midnight. And the grapes are squished in the morning. Hello, oh. Agent. Oh. Hello. Hi, Mata Harry. What do you have for me? I intercepted what I think may be some sort of coded password, but I have no idea what it means. I'm sure it's important, though. All right, let's hear it. It goes like this. The weak black cat. What a curious phrase. <whistles> I'm sure you'll figure it out, Agent Fox. You always do. That's true. I do. All right. I gotta go chase down another lead. Ta-ta. Thanks, Mata. What about the camera like that guy, though? Be really draining for her. What about the camera guy? Okay, let's the see. The weak black cat. The weak black. Cat. The weak black. Okay. So now we're heading to get our car. How's your assignment going? Have you stopped that loony lunatic William the Kid yet? No, not yet. But don't worry. I'll get that goat's goat one way or another. Hmm. The weak black cat. Hey, according to Spycore's oh. database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Wait, where was the car prep stuff again? Here's where I... <laughs> Gotta pay your interns. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, and then it was like sharp, sharp left, sharp right. This this place is probably still locked. Yeah, yeah, this place is still locked. Mm. I can't get in there until someone unlocks. Fun. Please stand by. Hey, Agent Fox, that was a good job of getting Walter in Russian Blue's purse. How's his signal coming in? Crystal clear. You'd better go pick up the Osti Spumoni in the town square and follow them. Mobile Command the Center. The town square? Fun. Hello, hello. The town square? I... Wait. I need to follow the trail Walter left for me on the spy radar. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh, that's how we get into the car. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's do this again. I think it's like a timed event. <laughs> It was like sharp left, sharp right. Oh frick! Uh, okay, let's try this again. I guess we're going this way. And then, oh no, we're go okay. We're going this way. Oh no, 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 no! Not that much. Not not that much. Yeah, like I think um. I think the map is saying something quite different here, so... Okay, let's go this way. Let's go this way. And then we're gonna go this way. And then we're gonna go this way. Wow, convenient! And then we're gonna go this way. Then we're gonna go. Oh shoot, this way? Then we're gonna go this way. Probably a nice place until someone came along and ruined it. I'm right over here, Spy Fox. Walter, what happened? Where did Russian <gasps> Blue go? He's Sorry, fine. Spy Fox. My cover was compromised. I thought I was going to get squashed there for a second, but luckily she dropped me and ducked into a secret passageway. I need to bug out of here. She mentioned something about an exterminator, and I don't have my gas mask. Yeah, you'd better get going. Thanks for your help, Walt. My pleasure. Until next time, this is Walter Wireless signing off. Oh. And that's the way it is. And that's the way it is. <laughs> and that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> mm. That's odd. The Greeks didn't use hieroglyphics. Wait a second. I recognize it now. It's the ancient hieroglyphic language of the infamous Minoan Musaka cult. My Musaka hieroglyphic reading is a little rusty, but I know I can figure this out. Okay. This symbol stands for happy. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. Um happy? Happy. O okay. Happy. What, what about sad? This describes all kids eating dry cereal. Sad. True. Well, what, what else? Do we just keep clicking them? This hieroglyphic reminds me of the smell of feta cheese. It's strong. Well, okay, do we, do we, we just keep clicking this them? This symbol means fat. This one has nine lives. It means cat. This must be a part of some sort of secret password or code phrase. 
This symbol means boy. I don't have to roll over and play dead to know that this symbol means dog. Oh, oh my god. I oh my god, I just realized the weak black cat. Ah, okay. The dog. Unselect this stuff. Strong. Happy. Mm. I, I see, I see. I see what's happening here. Sad. Boy. Here, I'm just gonna unselect this one too. Cat. So, the weak. This is what I hope William the Kid turns out to be. Weak. The weak. Black cat. This hieroglyphic means black. There we go. Cat. Ha 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 ha. Looks like the secret passage isn't so secret anymore. Yay, I did it. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Got some turtles. Call in it here? a snap judgment, but there's no way I'm going into that water. Hmm. What do we do then? Curious. Could there really be a plumbing problem in Kid's Fortress? Maybe the water isn't too deep. Oh, snapping turtles. Ah! Voracious snapping turtles! With a taste for fox, I'd wager. I think I'd better think of a way across that'll keep me from being turtle food. You know what, I guess I might as well put the rest of the stuff in my inventory. Look at those moves. Uh, okay, let's go back. Oh, thank god I don't have to do like that whole like scene anymore. <laughs> okay, let's just put the rest of the stuff in the inventory, I guess. Oh shoot, maybe I could have used the things to um to gather them up too. But I think they're hungry though. Now what is this? Oh shoot, no, I want it I wanted to again? No 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 is no. I wanted to put it in my inventory. <laughs> Don't tell me about it again. Oh no! That is the cheese and safe <sighs> cracker kit. It will help you Oops. crack any safe in the world. When it comes to opening safes, cheese and crackers make a winning combination. <laughs> They sure taste better than these blueprints. Okay, okay. That's the cheese and safe cracker. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. I think... Do I have room? I have room for like one more. Can I just put the other one back? I'm sure glad this spy gadget vending machine doesn't have a no deposit, no return policy. Okay, so let's just put that one back. And we'll take this one. That's the night vision shoe. The shoe. And I can take the other one now. So I don't think we're going to use the x-ray thing again. Those are the suction cufflinks. Okay. Now let's, uh... Let's see which one the turtles don't like. I think it's probably going to be like the sna the snacky one, or it's going to be the the coin one. Okay, the car remembers the location. That's good. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, let's see here. So I think it's either going to be this one. That's not going to do me any good. No, they don't like that. Okay. Well, let's try this one then. That's not going to do me any good. Really? Really? So we actually have to lower like the water level then? Oh, wait a minute. Unless, unless these suction cufflinks should help me form a closer attachment to this wall. There we go. That would work. Oh. 
Oh, no, 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 go, no, go. <laughs> splat, 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 splat. Is it, is it gonna, okay, there we go. Oh, look at that timing. Wow, amazing. This is no time to just be hanging around. Get down. This is no Get down, you silly I'll pants. I'll my section cufflinks here in case I need to make a fast getaway later. There we go. I'd What's better let here? Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. As smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just got into Kid's Secret Fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. Mm. Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. Hmm, what's in this locker? It's a secret passageway. <gasps> Ooh. Convenient. <gasps> it's to this office. What a clever secret entrance. William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. Dude. But, but... We went all the way, like, super far away. How did we get all the way over here? Grande fromaggio. All right. Italian for the big cheese. How's roll? Okay, so that's the secret passage. Okay, wait a minute though, like, is there anything else to... I'd better leave this door unlocked, in case I need to get back in here later. Interesting. Okay, so that's like... Okay, we don't have to take the car anymore then. So then where's the... Okay, so we went up there. What about over here? That thing is not only giving me the eye, it gave me the boost. I'd better look for a uniform. A uniform? Ew, we gotta do the stinky uniform then, maybe? Okay. Ah. A yellow jumpsuit. I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Goats uniform. No one would recognize me in one of these. Okay, got a uniform. I like how he just like struts his stuff like super casual. <laughs> That's not going to do me any good. But put it on. Put it on. There you go. There you go. Uh oh, someone's coming. I better hide. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, hello there, Russian Blue. So that's the dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Ms. Blue. Ms. Blue. Take this diode and put it back where it belongs. It's the only thing that can disarm my milky weapon of destruction now. So keep it safe. Right away, your Imperial Goatney. I've deposited oh. the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. Oh, 
what's happening over here? I need to get my hands on that diode he mentioned. <coughs> This looks exactly like that diagram over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. Hmm, in the locker room? I know, I was thinking about that too. She's just kind of like, Ugh, This must be hello. where William the Kid keeps his controls for the milky weapon of destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the Milky Weapon of Destruction is right here. Great. Now, all you have to do is find the missing diode so you can disarm that Milky Weapon of Destruction. Mm. Right. That shouldn't be too difficult. Spy Fox out. Last thing, last thing. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Uh, how did we... Where did we go? I think it was over here. And then... We had to... Uh... Left, left, right, up, down. I've been itching to take this jumpsuit off. I think whomever this belonged to had fleas. Wait, just a minute. Left, left, right, up, down. Usually, I wouldn't wear somebody else's clothes, but sometimes you have to walk on the wild side. Left, left, right, up, down. Okay. Okay. If I don't remember the diagram, I can always go back to the locker room to check it again. Left, left, right, up, down. That, that's it. That's that's what it is. Hmm, okay. No need to keep this uniform on. Okay, let's see. Let's uh let's save the game here. Let's save. Hey. Save. We'll save it here. Um. Please stand by. Spy Fox, thanks for checking in. How's it going? Never better, Monkey Penny. I'm just trying to figure out how to disarm that sinister milky weapon of destruction. Mr. Utterly mentioned something about needing a missing piece to disarm it. If I can find out more, I'll let you know. Where's that missing piece, though? Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Okay, I guess I can keep this again. That's the X-ray gum. Sorry to do this to you, Mr. Utterly, but... I'm afraid I need to take another peek inside you. No! Ugh. Forget it! I absolutely refuse to take part in this again. Take. I don't care if it does help me get in touch with my Take is x-ray. <laughs> I will not be used as... Oh, oh dear. You're fine, Mr. you're Utterly fine. would faint again if he could see all this. So... Okay. We need the little thingy. If I had a... Where's the diode, though? Because we don't know where she went. Where'd she go, though? Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Hey, according to Spy Corps' database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Um... Where do we go find her? Um. Oh, 
Let's see, because the thing there, it says like left, left, right, up, down there. I guess every hero needs a uniform. This just isn't the one I pictured myself in. Unless if... Oh, oh my gosh, I'm silly. I'm silly. I'm silly. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's where they went. That's where they went. Okay. This must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's Fortress. Let's go this way. Got milk. It looks like a billboard. Let's try here. Oh my god. Interesting. So All many the hyperactive gerbils must be the power source of Kid's evil machinery. No more. What? The power went out. Those greedy gerbils and their carrots drive me batty. Now I have to walk all the way down that long corridor. Aww. This lever seems to be a gerbil on and off switch. Let's use the shoe. That's not going to... The shoe. I'll have to ask Quack to add some shoe deodorizers <laughs> to this night vision shoe. Oh my goodness. Why would you use a shoe for like night vision stuff? <laughs> Somebody turned the power <gasps> back on. I oh, should shoot. take this silly looking shoe off before someone sees me. Uh oh. <laughs> He's just strutting his stuff. Oh, so it's like a timed event then, I guess. There must be a shorter way to get to that radio room. Oh my god, is it gonna play like this music, or sorry, not, um, this cutscene like the whole time? When I have to like go back? Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, pardon me. I didn't know anyone was in here. What are you doing in here? This room has restricted access. I'm just taking a look around. Routine inspection. Mm, oh, it's on the other side. I see, I see. No, don't play it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I kind of want to time it. Like, okay, maybe. Okay. Oh. I guess when we have to exit, I'll time it. Because it's... Oh. I feel like this is like a good, like, more than 10 seconds. Of him just, like, walking. Do they have to, like... Is that, like, the loading screen? Dog. Okay. Wait a minute. What's over here? Oh! Huh. Oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. I should take a look around. Wee! Drawing! You're in, like, the heart of the enemy's, like, layout, and then you're just like, oh, you know what? Like, I'm just gonna draw. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Meow. Okay. 
Oh my god, it stays on there. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I'm not coming out. It, oh, it, do, it does look like a better texture. It's true. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna save the game. Save it here. Was going down. Was the electrical side, I think. That's the radio station. But this one. I think it was this one. Yes, it was. It was this one. It was this one. Okay. These gerbils look a little run down. Okay. okay, so he's probably. Okay, let's see. Let's do this quickly. Uh, where's my I'll issue? have to thank Quack for his enlightened. What's over here? With the power off, it's safe to snatch a diode. But which one do I need? Uh, it's probably this one. Yes, yeah, it is that one. Yeah, it is. Oh, shoot, yes. Let's, let's go. Uh. Somebody turned the power back on. I should take this silly looking shoe off before someone sees me. Okay, I'm timing this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 six, 15 seconds that's that's a lot okay I think it was it was over here or was it over here it was over here no shoot no but it was uh over here Okay. Now we should have the thing for here. I hope this is the right diode. <gasps> Yay! Ha! No more. <laughs> no more goat milk. That did the trick. Once again, I've saved the world from a horrible, or in this case, smelly, fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Oh. Not so fast, my crafty friend. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction, but I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cow. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't <laughs> ever call me Billy. No. It's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. Oh, he angry. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow's stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. Hmm. Oh no, not the cows! No, no, no! We gotta save! That's the gotta most save despicable them. thing I've ever seen! <laughs> oh, he's so evil. Uh-oh. <coughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And no. If you excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp, where I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious? You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one, if you think you can save the cows. 
Adios, mm. Mr. Fox. And good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Ouch. Stupid door. Oh. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now all I have to do is find that ascot. I want to make lots of inappropriate jokes about all the milkies and all the other things, but... <laughs> I need to find Kid's ascot so I can end this madness. Yeah, why does he want? Why does he want everyone? Why does he want to feed everyone his milk? That's gross. <laughs> okay, so that's the electrical. That's the radio. It must be in here somewhere, shouldn't it? Is he gonna like? No, 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 is he gonna? I'm not coming he out. just wants to feed everyone his milk, or is he gonna put something in it? Like, oh, I don't, I don't know how dark this would get. <laughs> okay, what's the, what's the thing that I have to do now? Well, we have to find his ascot, okay. right? Penny, help! Please stand by. Spy Fox. That was a fantastic job of disarming the Milky Weapon of Destruction. Have you found Kid yet? No, but don't worry. All I have to do is find that secret door he ducked into. You go get that mad goat, Spy Fox. Mobile Command Center. What? But where's the... Hmm. I'm gonna put this one here, too. The secret... Where was the secret door, though? I have no idea. Hmm. Milk Monopoly. That's some nice alliteration right there. Hmm. Oh, the bill- Oh, the billboard! Oh! Okay, okay, let's tr let, Maybe we can try? We can try that. We can try the billboard. Uh... That's Kid's ascot! This must be the secret <gasps> I didn't even see that! The stables where Kid is holding the cows. I'd better hurry. Whoa. Okay, now where are these? This should be easy. No. Nope. Uh oh. Oh, we feed. Um. I can't swim past these alligators. They're looking at me like I'm bait. Yum 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 yum. yum. That's not going to do me any good. I remember there was like the hot sauce stuff back at the it's a restaurant though, right? Safe cracker kit. That's not going to do me any good. Mm. Those empty to go containers look strangely familiar. In fact, they smell like the cantina. What'd be the fastest way to go back? Uh probably down here. Oh, no. It was in the other doorway. Okay, let's go to... Hot. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I've made an informed decision to take this uniform off. See if we can try to get our hands on that, like, sauce there. Secret sauce. Secret sauce. 
may cause drowsiness in alligators. Can, can, can I have that? I have... Tell me, B. What's a bright, muscular-looking bear like you doing in a rundown cantina like this? I ask myself that every morning, honey. Let's let's buy that. Why don't you give me one order of chicken knuckles to go? It's your funeral, honey. Okay. Can, can we put some of the sauce on it? Secret sauce may cause drowsiness in alligators. Unless if we could just uh, give it to them, maybe. Hmm. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What if I did this? There we go. It says secret sauce. Do I dare be? You tell me, spy guy. Oh, I want I want chicken nuggies now. <laughs> I want chicken nuggies. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna have some food uh, after. Yep. Now we just have to go all the way back. If I didn't like, if I didn't waste my time with like the um the the go, the go Usually, fish stuff, I wouldn't wear somebody else's clothes. But sometimes you have to walk on the mm. wild side. Mm, let's all get chicken nuggies, everybody. Let's let's do that after. <laughs> uh, okay, so we go up this way. Okay. And then we go back in here, and then we go to the billboard. And now, I'm gonna give these All guys All right, let's this. see how the chicken knuckles seasoned with secret sauce affect the gators. Ah! Oh, sleepy. So sleepy. Hey, the secret sauce is putting them to sleep. An alligator skin bridge. See you later, alligator. <laughs> the kidnapped dairy cows. I've found them. Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox, and I'll rescue you shortly. Continue treading milk, and I'll be right there. Oh, God. I'm just thinking of like I'm thinking of Dojin tanks. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh oh. I hereby declare you free range cows. Ah! <laughs> They're free! <laughs> They're free! They're free! You think you won, Spy? Box, but you're wrong. Go ahead, free the cows this time. But I'll be back to milk the world yet again. You? <laughs> it's gonna milk the world? <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped goat. Mm. I'll chase after that William the Kid next time and put him where he belongs. Jail. Jail. Later that day. For outstanding heroism and suaveness, I award you, Spy Fox, the Little Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why, thank Whoa. you, Mr. President. If only I could have brought that dastardly William the Kid to justice. I'm confident that you'll nab that villain next time. Three cheers for Spy Fox. Yay! I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk? Wait a minute. You could actually like go. Wait, can you actually go after him? I was I was kind of wondering about that. Is is it supposed to be uh, Bill Clinton? I think, or or uh, the president. <laughs> but 
but, but we were in Greece, weren't we? I, th I think. I guess that, well, that's where his hideout was, I guess, but. There's a whole scene where you can just, <gasps> what? There's a whole, okay, wait, no, no, no. No! <laughs> No, 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 let me... No, 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 no! 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 No, 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 no! Let me load the game! I wanna load the game! This one. This one. <sighs> Wait. We need to go back to the... The thingy. Gotta go to the crocodiles. No, no, we gotta get the good ending. How fresh can all that milk be? I hate to be caught. I, I was noticing that. I was like, wait a minute, gotta hit the, to the truck there. Okay, okay. Oh shoot, I can <gasps> wait, you could speed run this game. I didn't notice you could, you can you can click escape to make everything go faster. Oh, I did not know that. I did not know that you could Oh my god. Just speed run. Um money. Give give chicken nuggets. Why not Give chicken nuggets? Oh, oh, we got some. Okay, we got some. Um. Okay, did he did he do it? It says secret sauce. Do I dare be? You tell me, spy guy. Okay, put put the sauce on. Okay, okay, he 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 did the thing. He did the thing. Okay, now let's go back up. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go back up. Go back up, go back out, go back out. Go, go in. Uh, go, go up. Okay, I am going to save the game here. Right there. <laughs> and then we're gonna go, uh... Or was it again? It was in here, right? That's kids ascot. This must be the Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna feed these. That's not going to do me any good. Wait, what? Though those empty to go containers look strangely familiar. This should be easy. Ah, there we go. Now it's activated. Alright. Ah, okay. An alligator skin bridge. See you later, alligator. The kidnapped dairy cow. Okay. I hear- Okay, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? You think you won, <gasps> spy fox, but you're wrong. Go ahead, free the cows this time, but I'll be back to milk the world yet again. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another. <gasps> yeah! Story. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Go after him, Spy Fox! Go after him! Yeah! Think fast, Fox. This road ends just ahead. Wait, can we do it? This'll eject me right onto Kid's Blimp. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! Now that was an oh. entrance. I'd better check in with Monkey Penny. Spy Fox to Sweet. Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Oh, heck yeah. Spy Fox, have you found William the Kid yet? I'm on his escape blimp now. Professor Quack says he can see you on the radar. Spy Fox. 
You can't let William the Kid get away. But what about the sequel? There are other supervillains out there. We'll be fine. That's true. What should I do when I nab him? <laughs> We've already set up a mobile evil villain jail. Monkey Penny, do you have the coordinates for the evil villain jail? Yes. The coordinates are 14 degrees north, 16 degrees east. You need to fly the blimp over it. I'll transmit oh gosh, the coordinates everyone to the remember that. in case you oh. need to look at them again. Now I need to maneuver this ghastly blimp to that location. I'll get that dastardly villain. Oh no. 14 north, 16 east. 14 north, 16 east. Everybody got that? Every everybody got that? Save. 14 north, 16 east. Yeah, what about his overdue library books? Oh, he just Looks took like somebody's someone lunch. didn't finish their lunch. Well, you never know when you might need a piece of stale rye bread. Oh. Dang. I didn't know he could take it. He's a club though. screwdriver set. This could come in handy. You never know when you might need to drive some screws what? somewhere. He's a klepto. Okay. This looks like some sort of conveyance between the front and the back of Kid's blimp. Okay, can, can we go in? This blimp is so long, I guess they need an easy way to get things between the front and the back. That's not going to do me any good. No? Oh god, it's just becoming worse and worse. I I am I supposed to repair that? Oh my goodness. That's not going to do me any... Can, can I just use this one? This reminds me of my high-flying days in the Spy Air Corps. That looks like the entrance to the front of Kid's overblown blimp. I've got to get over there. I hope this old rust bucket with wings is airworthy. Gosh. There he is. Huh? Oh, there he is. This must be the control room for Kid's diabolical getaway blimp. Aha! The ejection seat controls must be here. I can finally throw Kid into evil villain jail. Hey, wait a minute. I just want to. I, want, I, I just want to save the game again. There, just just in case, just in case, just in case. That's where the ejection seat controls are. I need to get inside that. I need a screwdriver to open this panel. That did the trick. Hmm, what an interesting device. It's just like the toaster we have back at Spy Corps Cafeteria. Mmm, it's like we need some toast. A piece of rye bread might do the trick. Oh. And then we... Now I just need to navigate this blimp over evil villain jail before this thing blows. How do we do this? A navigation panel. Now I can use the coordinates Monkey Penny sent me via the spy watch to maneuver this dastardly contraption over the evil villain jail. Then I can finally put William the Kid where he belongs. There it is, there it is. 
There, my little trap is all set. The ejector seat should be just about ready to blow. Oh boy! What's going on? The <gasps> blimp is changing course. Sorry, kid. I have a little errand I need to run. Hmm? What? Spy fox? I'm really getting tired of your meddling in my dairy domination plan. Yes, well, I do have a tendency to show up and ruin evil villains' schemes. I just thought I'd toast your accomplishment before you go. <laughs> Bye-bye. Go? What do you mean by that? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> go to Too jail. Bad there was only one parachute. Go to Milky Jail. Hmm. That looked painful. I guess Kid will be serving up his goat byproducts in evil villain jail from now on. I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. <laughs> spy fox! <laughs> You'll pay for this. I'll be back. No jail can hold William the Kid. <sighs> Is... <gasps> oh no! What's happening? Later, Later that, that, that day. day. Walter Wireless here with our top story. Spy Fox has saved the dairy starved nations of the world from a near disastrous milk shortage. Today at the Capitol, the president is honoring Spy Fox as the nation's new hero. We now go live to the presidential press room where the ceremony is already in progress. For outstanding heroism and suaveness in the face of utter dairy chaos. Suaveness. And for bringing the nefarious William the Kid to justice, I award you, Spy Fox, our nation's highest honor. May I present you with the Big Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why, thank you, Mr. President. It was a routine mission, really. Three cheers for Spy Fox. Hooray! I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk? Nice. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> so that's that's a good ending, right? I I think I think that was the good ending. Oh, that was good. I want to play. I want to play more of the Pajama Sim and uh, the Spy Fox games. They're uh, they're way more lengthy than uh, Putt Putt and Freddy Fish. That's for sure. That's for sure. Where's the milk? The milk break ending. I know, right? Oh, we got we got tags. We got milk. We got um. Mm, we got what was it? Kidnapping. Uh, we got X-ray tag. <laughs> Got lots of got lots of tags in there. <sighs> oh, everyone has everyone has milkies again. Everyone has milkies again for their cereal. No more no more dry cereal. Everything's um Yep. <laughs> I yeah, what about the kid at the beginning? Okay, hopefully the kid has milk for their cereal now. Hopefully. I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. <laughs> that pesky spy fox. Oh no. We did it. We brought the milkies back to everybody. Spy Fox got to get with like um, a bajillion girls like Mr. James Bond, though. Hmm. That's okay. He was he was very suave. He did everything with suaveness, so it's okay. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit tempted to get some chicken nuggies though. Right after that, uh, mm, right after that crocodile cutscene, though. Mr. Spy Fox uh, put some stuff in, put some sleeping uh, stuff in that.
Those chicken nuggies, hmm. I hope those crocodiles, uh, they, they wake up well rested. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, we did it! And it was teamwork too, Every everyone did it together. Oh gosh, those, uh, <gasps> no animals were uh, mistreated or harmed in, uh, okay, okay. Although quite a few were milked. Oh, this game is d d dedicated to the. Oh. Away with my evil plan, <gasps> if it were. It said quite a few were milked though for the animals. Fox. Oh. Oh. Time to t time to tango again. <laughs> I know. What could that mean? <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, I guess he's gonna have to live with being in prison for a while. He's gonna have to, um, yeah, he's gonna have to put up with that. Okay, I guess, I guess it kind of replays the same scene over again here. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll stop it. Would you like to quit? Yes. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. It, it, oh gosh, it was a longer game than I kind of thought it was going to be. But I had a lot of fun. Darn. So the Pajama Sam games and the Spy Fox games, I would say like they're a little bit like more on like the mature side than um, like Freddy Fish and uh, Putt Putt. But I like, I like that about them. I think there's lots of uh, funny jokes in there. <laughs> so maybe okay so i think it would be fun to play some more spy fox games and some more pajama sam games but we also have what was it we have buggy i think there is buggy in here too where, where is he yeah there's the uh or sorry not not buggy not buggy buzzy buzzy games but i I don't know how mature those ones are. And then there's also a uh, fatty bear as well. <laughs> so there's fatty bear too. Hmm. But yeah, there's lots of fun games we can do like during office hours just to kind of like chill and relax. Um, I hope, I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. I thought, I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's kind of funny because uh, over the Christmas break, I was watching some James Bond movies because I never seen a lot of like James Bond movies. So kind of funny to like see them like somewhat recently and then like recognizing like a lot of themes. <laughs> it sets like a like, the, yeah, the James Bond movie set like a lot of like tropes for like spy related stuff. So really interesting. So, um, if anybody enjoyed anything from the stream, uh, feel, fr feel free to clip anything, feel free to uh, share anything on our Twitter. Um, you will see me tomorrow. I am going to be doing an English lesson with everyone, and I'm still kind of thinking about which one to do, but I'll think of, I'll think of something very informative. It'll be something, it'll be something informative for sure, for sure. <laughs> Oh yes, Mission- Oh, I need to watch the Mission Impossible movies. Mm, mm, mm. There's, um, there's a lot of movies that I've actually not- not- like, popular movies I've not seen. So I need- I need to, uh, I have a big backlog of movies I need to watch. <laughs> so I will see everybody for tomorrow, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the weekend. And... I believe it's going to be on Friday for Miss B's office hours. I think Miss B and I are going to be planning something, so uh, watch, watch out for that, too. Uh, make sure to tune into Miss B's streams, turn into Aki, Aki's streams, and Dr. Mo's streams as well. <laughs> there's, a, there's always something fun that everyone's, everyone is teaching. So I will see everyone tomorrow. Take care. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. 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 Miss Tane signing out. <laughs> <laughs>